New Year's resolutions. I never really make them, but uh, I'm gonna make an exception today. <laughs> you always say no. Mommy loves you. There you go. You saw a rat. You got your daily dose of rat. So you can stop bugging me now. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Selfie. <laughs> yeah, say hi. New Year's resolutions. I never really make them, but uh, I'm gonna make an exception today. Today I'm just going to make a short video about my New Year's resolutions. And let's just hope that I at least do some of these. I mean, it would make me feel better if I did at least some of these. Even though I'm gonna break a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Just to get your daily dose of rat ruining my videos. By the way, in case you guys are wondering, Charlie is not alone. I just, I have, uh, I have Oscar in a different uh, cage right now because they eat separately because they don't know they don't know about like you know not being uh not fighting when it comes to food say hi say hi i know say mommy loves you mommy loves you <laughs> mommy loves you <laughs> yeah I don't want him to lick me because it hit my um, my lipstick. It needs to dry first so that he doesn't get any. Yes, yes. <laughs> you always say no. Mommy loves you. There you go. You saw a rat. You got your daily dose of rat. So you can stop bugging me now. Am I right? <laughs> what are you doing? You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Say happy new year. Happy New Year! <laughs> Oscar is in this cage while he eats. Come here, baby. Come on. Say hi. Say hi. Say everyone missed you. Say everyone missed Oscar and Charlie. Where are you going, huh? What are you worrying about? 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 I don't think you need to worry. Girl, let's do this. And by the way, some of these are just kind of my own personal resolutions and most of them are for the channel. So resolutions, goals that I have for Pet Adventures. 2018. I can't believe that it's already 2018. Seems like yesterday I was listening to pop punk music, which isn't really, they don't really do pop punk music anymore, but it was like Simple Plan, Fall Out Boy. <laughs> Blink-182, a lot of early 2000s music, a lot of those pop-punk bands I listened to and it seems like just yesterday I was a preteen listening to those. Without further ado, let's get started with this video. And I got this in my favorite little to-do journal here uh, that has a little pug on it. We're gonna read some of these. So the first resolution that I have for 2018 is I wanna have more Christ time. Now I don't really talk about this cause it can be controversial, um, but I mean, I'm not going to push my faith on anybody or anything like that. But um, I do want to be more into Christ. I am a Christian or at least trying to be a Christian. I grew up in a household 
Wait a minute, I forgot to turn the tanks off. Sorry you guys, I gotta turn those tanks off because they get really loud. Anyways, I am trying to be a Christian, I'm not perfect, but I did grow up in a Christian household my entire life, but I had never really known Christ, to be honest. I'd never really known Christ or even wanted to really know Christ that much when I was really young. I told myself, you know, I believe in God, but that's as far as it got. I didn't really try to obey the laws in the Bible and things like that. Bottom line, I want to incorporate that in my life. That's just kind of my own personal thing. That's like, that's something that um, I will openly tell people, but it's not something that, you know, I'm going to push on anybody or anything like that. But I believe that everyone should at least be respected to, you know, believe in um, what they want to believe in. I mean, this is, this is technically for me the best way and the right way, and it is the right way in my opinion for everybody, but I do understand that you can't force anyone to do that. Um, anyways, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is I want to incorporate that more in my life. Um, leave a comment down below if you are a Christian or on the way to being saved on that path. I would love to know, but if not, no bigs. <laughs> it's just something I really gotta solve and really, really incorporate into my everyday life. I'm trying to do Bible study every day the best I can. I'm trying to get my prayers out twice a day, but um, I don't do I don't do that well with it, and I really just want to try a little bit more. My next New Year's resolution is higher quality videos. So in the future, I do want to have much higher quality videos. Um, I got some footage today of the animals that I will put throughout this video, but I want to have a lot more cooler footage of the animals and, um, you know, I just, I really would just love to do that. I want to also get a higher quality camera. I want to get a DSLR at some point, maybe a Canon. Um, I do use a Canon camcorder for recording, but I want to get those high HD quality cams but of course I can't right now I don't have the profits for that but I want to at some point this year so thumbs up for that higher quality videos uh, I want to do photo shoots with the animals and stuff too um, well not really with the animals but like photo shoots of the animals one day I'd like to make my own calendar for the animals of course I can't do that right now because it already just turned 2018 2000 19 maybe <laughs> calendar of the pets would be awesome so thumbs this up if you guys want a pet adventures calendar one day i think it'd be pretty cool we would have you know oscar and charlie and xena my tarantula my crested gecko waffle we would have my betta fish uh a lot of my kitties you guys know i have five cats my leopard geckos my mollies my goldfish um, and uh, Phoenix, my ball python. That's enough for a whole calendar. The next New Year's resolution that I kind of have on my mind for this year, and this can definitely be done, so let's hope that I get to it, um, but I really want to have more fish and cat videos. You guys know that I don't have a ton of fish and cat videos, but I want to make fish and cat videos that, <laughs> catfish, fish, cat, whatever. Girl, no one gets that joke, just move on. Well, people get it, but we just don't care. But I do want to make more videos about my cats and fish, and not just that though, I want to actually be able to reach a lot of people to watch those videos. If you look on my channel, you realize that my the videos that probably get the most views are obviously my rat and mouse videos, so anything involving small animals, and also a lot of my videos that also reach a good amount of views are my reptile videos. So I want to set a goal that I will reach the fish community and I mean maybe not just the fish community but just like reach people who are new to fish keeping and reach people who are new to getting cats or you're running into problems with your cats please please let me know down below if you know anybody that has problems with their cats or their fish and they have questions bring them on over here because i really want to make 2018 have more content and not just 
uh, your typical content that everyone wants from Pet Adventures here, I suppose. Now, this is a really, really, really big goal, but I want this to happen, and you guys can make this happen if we do enough. So, I want to reach 20,000 subs by the end of 2018. It might be kind of a big goal, I know, but it is highly possible if you guys share and like my videos enough and spread the word. So if you have friends that also are into pets or even have requested videos, like if this means that I can possibly reach 20,000 subs from you guys, um, I will definitely do more requested videos. It's just that, uh, I mean, I already do requested videos actually. I don't really have an issue with that, but I would really be on top of my game with requested videos if that meant that I could reach 20,000 subs that way. <laughs> um, and there is a condition to this. I want to reach 20,000 subs the right way. I don't want to have to use clickbait. I don't want to have to use scammy type things that a lot of people do. Clickbait and and you know like I don't want to have to talk about like the latest news I don't want to have to look like a supermodel or something like that to get people's attention I want to reach 20,000 subs the right way and that means doing the hard work and reaching out to people who need to be reached out to when it comes to anyone in the pet community. But yeah, you guys can really make the whole 2018 20,000 subs thing happen. Just I'm going to put in the hard work if I think I can do it. I feel like I've I'm about I'm going to reach 10,000 subs in no time and I feel like it's kind of growing rapidly. I could be wrong, but I feel like it's going so fast. So yeah, something that I really want to do is I want to raise awareness to rats and mice and other misunderstood animals. So you guys know that I specialize, well I don't really specialize, but I guess I'm pretty good with uh, rat knowledge. And um, I want to raise awareness on wild rats and respecting them in nature or at least respecting them as pets. A lot of people get the wrong idea about rats and a lot of people think that rats in the pet stores are the same exact thing as rats in the wild and they're not. They're, they're, they're just not guys. Um, so I really, really want to raise awareness on that. And I also want to raise awareness on um, just not being so cringy when you see like a snake in a pet store or something because people aren't separating their fears. They're not thinking about like, a lot of people have these phobias about certain animals without the proper knowledge. And I want to raise awareness on how it would be awesome if we could respect rats and we could respect um, your local crows and respect animals in general, of course, but the misunderstood animals that get taken for granted, I would just like to see people enjoy them more. So. For instance, when people see local crows, they kind of just don't think that they need food or water. They think that they're just like, I don't know, like they see them as like a trash bird or something like that. When in reality, crows are one of the smartest wild birds out there. They might be the smartest. I'm not, not totally sure on that, but I have studied crows for a long time, just like I have also studied rats. And crows in the wild are so smart and they should be respected. Like when you see a local crow, feed it, make it feel good, make it feel welcome because they are a species that we really take for granted. They're often um, kind of seen as like nothing too. Like a lot of people will see a crow on the street and act like it's not even there. Like it's like something we don't think about. And I feel like I'm the only person that sees a crow like when I go to my local mall and I see a bunch of crows there, I like to look at them and observe them and think like, wow, they are so beautiful. They are so smart. I love it. And a lot of people just don't have this kind of knowledge. And the same thing exactly goes for rats. When I see a rat in the wild, I get excited and I just think like, wow, look at, look at these rats surviving so well out in the wild. Like, <laughs> I respect them. And I feel like people don't have that respect um, today. And I would like to raise awareness on those kind of animals. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. It might be through a series of videos that show uh, how 
we can respect them more when we see them out in the wild, how it's okay to feed them sometimes and show compassion to them. And, you know, I'm not telling you to like an animal that you don't like, but I think that we should at least take a few minutes to admire them a little bit, just a little bit. So another New Year's resolution that I want to have that I think I'm doing pretty well with so far is I do want to be more organized. So I actually ordered a 2018 weekly uh, planner and you know I've already made like cards and stuff and yes this organization does incorporate my pets um, so I have a planner here for 2018 and I've already written down in it uh, so as you guys can see I just have like you know for instance my you know Bible study I put that in here so I don't forget that because that's something I really want to accomplish and then I have just, you know, stuff that I do. In this, I have an organization card organization for weekly and monthly things to do. And I have like these little tabs inside. And um, in case you guys are wondering, I do have one for pets. I don't know if you can see that there, but this one at the right here says pets. So there are things that I have to do on a weekly and monthly basis for my pets and for a zillion other things too. So basically what it comes down to is, uh, and I've also, gotten this little hug notepad to just write down random things I need to do for the day. So let me know if you guys want a video on that. It does like show what I want to do for like uh, like Thursday. Today is Thursday cards because it's Thursday but um anyway <laughs> I do want to be more organized and that this is the way I'm trying to do it. I've never been organized in my entire life ever since I was a little kid never ever been organized I don't know why I have such an issue with it but even when I was a kid I would just get a bunch of papers to bring home from school like usual and they would just pile up in my backpack and be a huge mess and there'd be like candy bars in there and crap and it was it was not good mm -mm. It, it was freaking embarrassing and for once in my life I want to be organized and this goes for my pet to do's which is weekly and monthly there's tons of pet stuff to do and there's on top of that lots of stuff to do in the house and stuff like that stuff to do with my business my basically as a whole pet adventures business so if you guys want a video on that give this video a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments if you want a video on anything of that sort so yeah that's what I want to do I want to be organized for 2018 and I also want to stop talking a lot but that ain't gonna happen we don't all get what we want, honey. Okay, now this is something I can definitely do that I've done before, but I've been slacking on. I want to be more frequent on YouTube, so I have been lacking on the video uploads, and I've been trying to get more videos out, and I feel like it's just not happening, you know? I don't know what it is. I did videos for a total of 30 days, and then a lot of stuff happened with my pets all at once and I just kind of had a small mini breakdown and I stopped. But now that I'm feeling better, I'm trying to get back on the wagon and it's just still been so hard. I don't really know what's stopping me, but it's just, it's been tough. So I wanna get back on the frequent side. Hopefully by 2018, by this month, I'll be popping up those videos at least twice a week. So yeah, that's one thing I wanna do. But I want to make YouTube my part-time job. So I want to, I, want, I really want to make YouTube a second job for myself, something that pays as a second job and something that I can do every week and expect something to pay as if it was a part-time job. So I want that to happen in 2018. It sounds crazy, but anything is possible these days. Some people blow up on YouTube, some people don't. Some people get there fast but without blowing up. Um, so whatever the case may be, I really want to make this a part-time job at some point. It may not happen in 2018, but I do have a feeling it will happen someday. So please, you guys, give me lots of prayers, lots of hope, whatever you can give to me. Um, maybe just support, whatever you can do. Uh, let's all hope that I can make YouTube a really good part-time job for myself. Another thing I want to do for my New Year's resolutions is I want to make my channel more about the pets and less about me. Now I don't know how that would affect my channel but honestly I think that people just come here for pet knowledge no matter what and um, I really just want to make it more about the pets as much as I can. Uh, I'm not going to name names. It's kind of funny because when I first saw that there was like a very small pet community I looked into pet stuff 
a long time ago, way before there were like big pet YouTubers. Um, the first real one I saw was Snazzy Nikki. She was like a very big pet YouTuber in the day. Um, and she was one of the first that kind of made it a thing. So around that time, I had this thing where I thought, like I just had this, this thought that like, there was an image, I guess, where like pet videos and pet channels and the pet community, I always thought it was, it was really just about the pets. Really, like, of course you wanna get to know your host, you wanna get to know who's talking and stuff like that. But when I started a pet channel, I slowly realized that it was kind of, it was about the pets and there was good pet videos, but it's not what I thought. Like I thought that all pet channels were really going to be only about the pets, but it kind of became this thing where it was more about the people talking about their pets and not so much the actual pet footage. And I don't know, it's just, it's not really a bad thing. It just, it's just like not what I pictured. However, this is my channel and this is the way I want to do it. I want to have so much pet footage, like so, so much saved up. And I want to just make videos strictly about the pets. And I'll still have my face around, maybe on thumbnails here and there, and I'll still show my face. But I really, really want to make this channel more focused on all of my pets. So. I don't know what you guys think about that, but that's definitely something I want to do. For this New Year's resolutions, I also just kind of want to get one more pet. I'm not planning on getting a ton of pets, but I do plan on getting at least one more pet somewhat soon. Um, I have had some more space lately, so not sure what I should do, but I would appreciate it if you guys left me some comments down below on what I should get. Um, anything I get shouldn't really be in anything bigger than like a 30 gallon tank, at most a 30 gallon tank, but I think a 20 gallon is more, probably more suitable for the space that I've recently got. Something that I really do think I'll be doing soon uh, for 2018 is I really am thinking about getting a bigger cage for my raddies. Now you guys are going to be pretty sad about this, but I'm not crushed about it. Recently uh, Lucky passed away and he was almost three years old. So he was very, very close. So um, I don't want to talk about that too much in this video, but it was just meant to happen. He was really old, he was slowing down, he was really tired, and he actually, he had a very peaceful uh, passing away. So he's not with us anymore, but again, he was very old and he was also an isolated rat. Typically, rats live longer when they're with each other. And um, you know, he's just, like I said, he was just very, very old. But I don't want to talk about that too much in this video. Um, because of that, I do have some more space and uh, I want to make the cage bigger. So I may get a taller cage for Charlie and Oscar. And yeah, I think it'll be good. And again, don't feel too bad about Lucky. Of course, I cried my eyes out and I couldn't stop thinking about it for like a long time. But, well, you know, for, I'm still, not, I'm still thinking about it to be honest. But. Um, don't feel too bad about it, okay? I will talk about it in another video at some point. And the last New Year's resolutions that I have is starting a group for you guys that we can all be a part of, but where it's like a paid subscription. So obviously it's optional for everyone, but I want to start a paid subscription group. Um, so it would be like a group for the whole, for all of my subscribers to come to if they like. And I don't know, you could probably, it'd be kind of like a Patreon, but I want to do something different than Patreon. Um, it, it would be like a really fun group where we can all connect. Maybe some of us video chat. Maybe some of us, you know, I don't know. I don't really know what it would be, but I want to start that in 2018. And I don't know if it'd be like a Facebook group or if it would be on my website. Who knows? But it is something that I want to do uh, for, to, to kind of hang out with you guys and stuff like that. And of course... You guys don't have to do that to hang out with me. Of course, I'll still be doing live streams on YouTube, which I need to do again. But a paid subscription of some sort or paid group to join or something like that. You know, something like that is what I really want to do. So give me some comments down below if you guys have any feedback on that. So I hope you guys had a great new year and happy holidays to your families and your pets. 
and I wish you guys all the happiness and please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up especially if you love pets and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!